The seed, Deadly Power was a unique shot for Heino Furch. Inspector Max Gross, who was forced to quit active duty due to a kidney transplant, finds himself in a perilous world of intrigue while looking for Victor and is able to demonstrate his exceptional skills as an investigator. He is helped by the Norwegian police officer Thea Koren, whom he encounters on the frigid island of Spitsbergen, where Victor's trail has gone cold. There is a frozen safe for humanity's grown plants here, not far from the North Pole. Three halls of eternal ice are designed to protect plant seeds' genetic legacy from natural disasters and even nuclear war. Heino Furch, Gross is dealing with personal conflicts as a result of his reliance on his nephew, who donated a kidney to him. That's what drew them together in the first place. When his nephew vanishes without a trace, Gross investigates on his own, listening to his intuition and disregarding the orders of his superiors, who forbid him to do so. He follows the trail to Spitsbergen. I really appreciate the plot. Gross and his Norwegian colleague, played by Ingrid Balls Bertel, initially rub against each other, but eventually develop sympathy for each other, and Max accepts their assistance. What piqued your interest in the script The Seed? Deadly power. Investigative stories are a passion for screenwriter Christian Jelch. It's all about the heart. This is a seat for elaborate storytelling. Jelch worked on the seed for eight years with a Norwegian colleague. I previously collaborated with Jelch in 2011. Lost on the Cape was about precious water resources and a corporation that purposely purchased up areas and abused them to the point where there was nothing left for the locals. Similarly, the subject of the seed. Deadly power is, sadly, quite current. Consider Russia's embargo of tens of thousands of tons of food in 2022 during the Ukraine war. The key topic is who will control the majority of the global food market in the future, and whether there should be only three businesses. Absolute heart matter. This is a bench for intricate storytelling. Over the course of eight years, Jelch worked with a Norwegian colleague to create the seed. I previously worked with Jelch in 2011. Lost on the Cape was about restricted water resources and a corporation that purposely purchased up areas and abused them to the point where there was nothing left for the local people. Similarly, the subject of the seed. Deadly power is regrettably quite current. Consider the Russian embargo of tens of thousands of tons of grain in 2022 during the Ukraine war. The key question is who will control the majority of the global food market in the future and what